Hi friends, welcome to Uniquely Vintage You. Today's video is going to be about getting ready for Memorial Day weekend. So let's get started and let's pull out the red, white, and blue. Friends, I'm excited to get started with the red, white, and blue. And so the first place I'm going to start is right here with these three frames I have hanging on the wall. Now I've got this old flag and I'm just showing you, I just put a tack right here to hold up this one corner and then the rest of it I'm going to feed through this frame. So see it hangs about as long as this frame and now all I'm going to do is just hang it on the wall and feed it through the other frames. And I love how this turned out. Now, If you watched me decorate last year for summer you saw me use this frame in the other direction with the flag and I loved it. But friends, I think I love this look even more. I love that I was able to incorporate it in another frame as well. I don't know about you, but do you love decorating with Americana as much as I do? Something about that red, white, and blue just makes my heart so happy. And you know, there's so much history in in America and the flags and it's such a privilege to have the freedom we have and it's so important that we honor those who served to make us free and friends that's what this Memorial Day weekend is going to be all about so I'm excited to start adding in some of this Americana decor for summer so now that I have this decorated let's move over and decorate my little cabinet right as you walk in the door I love decorating this area right here and I decided to take everything out of this little cabinet that's above this little table and you know I love this basket and this arrangement so much friends I'm gonna try to still use this so really my plan is I'm not gonna take everything down and start completely over I'm just gonna incorporate some red white and blue into what I have so far keeping the things that I still love and enjoy and I did add this really old it's not old I think it's like um, it's just a hand but it's made out of cast iron it's super heavy so I wedged that in there so it wouldn't move so I didn't want to take it out but um, now let's move up to the top and I have this old flag box that actually came with a flag in it this I got from the thrift store years ago and you know I wish the thrift stores wouldn't add tape to everything it just ruins it but you know this box has tape on it so I'm going to use it because the graphics on it I think is just amazing. So just to keep this in place, I'm going to add a couple of old corbels uh, on the top. But I love vintage everything. And so just seeing this, box, I would have bought the box without the flag because again, the graphics I think are just amazing. So now let's decorate this shelf and so I've got this old spool right here I'm gonna add that and then I have collected these old bingo cards and so I thought it'd be fun to pull those out because again they have the red white and blue colors that I love so let's just see if we can make this work I think I'm just gonna tuck some of these behind this spool just so that they'll stay in place the way I want So moving up to the top, I'm just going to rearrange these little boxes. I always leave these right here, but you know, I love the graphics on this one, so I'm just going to turn it to the side, and then I'm going to add my little lead box on top of that. I love that it has the price tag, and then I'm just going to add in another little vintage piece, and then just to complete the look on the top, I'm just going to add this metal star, and I think that that's really all it needs right there. Thank you. 
So for the bottom, I don't, I don't, I'm sure I showed you when I was at the church cell and I found a lot of these little Bibles. I found both of the red ones at the church cell. I've had this white one for a long time, but isn't that so pretty? So I'm going to use these to display right here. And somebody told me, I can't remember who it was, but friend, I'm so thankful you shared that with me. They said that all these little New Testaments, the different colors make different things. And I'm going to have to look that up because I think that is so interesting. And, you know, now I just have this old Bible, this dark blue one, and I'm just going to add it right here. And then to top this little display off, I have this jar of receipts. Now, I'm not even sure where I got it. It was belonged to somebody in my family and it came in this jar and it was always there and I never really paid attention to it and then one day I was looking out and I thought oh my gosh it has stars how cool is this so I'm just going to add it right here I took the lid off because I thought it would be fun to add something inside the jar and then I can just display this lid if I can get it to stay and so you can see the top of it a little bit better but isn't that so pretty so I think I'm just going to grab a piece of greenery, stick in the top, and then I think that will be perfect right there. So I'm going to use something that I haven't used to decorate in my decor in forever. And so as you see, I'm going to keep this just like it is. I took out the bird that I had there in the nest and I'm going to add this bear. I've had him forever. He's actually was sitting in my laundry room and I thought, you know what? I'm going to pull him out because I had this really great idea. He looks so old and vintage. So I'm going to prop him up in this basket. I'm hoping this is going to work. And then I just made him one of those sweet little old timey paper hats out of old book pages. And then I just took some old homespun and made him a little bow tie. And then the next thing I'm going to do is just add in a flag. And I think he is just so sweet. I don't know why it's taken me so long to pull him out to use him because I just think he's precious. I don't know. You'll have to let me know. Do you decorate with stuffed animals like this? I usually don't, but in this case, I think it works perfectly. So as I was shopping my home for some different things, I came across this frame that I had just stored away. And I thought, you know, I think I'm just going to add this right behind here. And it just gives it another layer, another dimension. And you know, I know I've had some people say too much. I can't even focus because you have too much stuff. And, and I get that. That's fine. You know, being a maximalist or liking a lot of things is not everybody's taste, but this is what I like. And so this is what I'm going to share is what I've created and hopefully it will inspire you. You don't have to use as much stuff as I do, or, or maybe you use even more. 
but it doesn't really matter. What matters is decorate with your heart, decorate with the things you enjoy, because life is short, and I say use what you love. So the next place I want to decorate is this other little table I have as you walk in the door. Now I'm not going to do a lot, but I thought I would just add in one of these old rulers that I've made into a star, and it's broken so it doesn't make a complete star, but that's okay. I like it anyway, so I'm just going to tuck it up here, and then the next thing I've got are these Bibles, and I've just pulled them from some other place in my home, and I'm going to add them to the top. Since I took down those frames, I really like layering those gold frames. But I thought I would try something different, so I'm just going to layer in these white Bibles. And I think this is going to be perfect for the look that I want to have right here. You guys will have to tell me, do you, if you collect old Bibles like I do, I absolutely love them. Okay, so everything is going to stay the same, but right here, I have this really pretty square. I love this fabric, and I've had it forever. And I'm just going to take this simple little piece of a quilt, and I'm going to put it inside my basket of hydrangeas. And I think this is so pretty. I love this basket. I'm not ready to get rid of it. I still think it's pretty. So I'm going to leave it right here. I'm going to tuck this in just to add a little flair of that red, white, and blue. And then I, the next thing I'm gonna add are these old flags. And as I told you before in the last video, I love to collect old flags. They are so pretty. Just look at this one. It's stained, it's just discolored, and it's so pretty, and it's made so well. And so if you can find them, I always say grab them. Now I have a piece of styrofoam in the back, so I'm just gonna tuck this one in the styrofoam so it will stand up just a little bit higher, but friends, I just adore this look. Something about old flags, just like I said, brings my heart so much joy. So the last little touch I want to add to this table are these old thermoses. So I've been able to find a few since Christmas. I wanted these at Christmas but couldn't find them. I have since found a few so I'm just going to display them right here. I've got two red and then I was at an antique store and found this really sweet blue one. I knew I needed it for the 4th of July so I grabbed it. But friends this sits on my table where I have the pictures of my loved ones that I no longer have with me anymore. Those are the most important decor in my home, are my pictures of my loved ones. So they're going to stay right there, but I'm just going to decorate this one side. And I love bringing in this touch of vintage. I love these colors. I just think this is so much fun. You guys tell me, do you collect old thermoses? I absolutely love these. So now I'm always on the hunt for more. looking at this bingo card I just thought the one I had used was too new looking and so I took one of them out and I just added some coffee stain to it and let it dry and I just think it added just the perfect touch because that really bright white was throwing me off so I like now that I was able to tone this down just a little bit I think it looks much better in my decor right here but friends I do want to share with you something I am going to just go down to one video a week. Um, I'm doing this for just a little while. I'm, I'm really not sure how long, but I think I'm going to do just one for a little while. You know that 
my life is super busy right now and I just think it would take some stress off and it would really help me to I think make better content you know my videos might be just a little bit longer since I'm only sharing one a week but I'm excited to kind of to do that and kind of give myself a, a break and take a little bit of pressure off because I really wanted to honor my word because we usually do post two videos a week Tuesdays and Fridays but I think I'm just going to post on Fridays at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time and so I hope that you guys will stick with me. I hope you'll continue to watch. And I just wanted to say a huge thank you to every one of you. Your kind words each week bless me. They mean so much. And my sister and I are just honored to have you be a part of our channel. I want to change one more thing before I go. I just have this sprig of this little sweet flower and I thought it would look perfect in this little jar. So I added it in and friends, I love it. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you'll come back next Friday. I'll have more summer decorating to share with you as I transform my home into summer decor. So thank you again for watching and being here. And before I go, I just want to share with you this beautiful Bible verse. Yet you, Lord, are our Father. We are the clay. You are the potter. We are all the work of your hands. You know, I pray that you will let God mold your life into what he's desired for you. So often we have great plans, but our plans don't always work out. So if you seek the Father and his will for your life, that's when you'll always have peace and you will know the greatest joy of your life. Friends, thank you for being here. We appreciate each and every one of you. And friends, we look forward to seeing the next one. Bye, y'all.